a two-year rule. Answer to this, basically, two-year rule is actually a condition that will be put on uh, J1 exchange visitor trainee or, or intern applicants. And usually, if they're actually part of a program, let's say J1 training program, and also uh, if they're from a country that will be subjected to your home residency requirements, so then only those applicants will be uh, actually subject to two-year home residency requirements. That means if they have actually come to U.S. to do their J-1 program and if they're subject to two-year home residency requirements before they can change their status to any green card or work permit or other type of non-immigrant statuses, they either have to be residing outside the U.S. for at least two years or they have to get a waiver actually from the State Department approved uh, allowing them to stay in the U.S. and to be able to change their status without actually uh, spending two years outside the United States. So the idea will be here is if you, of course, are part of the skill list and from a country uh, that's subject to this uh, to your home residence requirement, you have to comply with it. You have to check to see if your your uh, country of citizenship does not object to this uh, removal of two-year residence requirement and of course get approval from State Department before immigration can approve your two-year home residence requirement waiver application. Mm -hmm.